Hey guys, and welcome to The Sims 4. Um, decided to play this again because this is coming out in like three weeks, I think November 14th, to the PS4 and Xbox One. So I figured why not play The Sims 4 again. Um, however, I did record this on my laptop, and right now watching and editing this on my 65 inch TV, this looks really muddy. Um, the graphics look terrible. So, um,. And to do a lot of upscaling, so if this looks crappy on your TV, why don't you watch it on your computer instead? Okay, now that we got that out of our way. Um, so yeah, this is just a tour. We'll do a little house tour first um, of me and Alexis's house. Um, this is like a quick little edit, but, um, you know, playing on the PC, entering those cheats. I mean, what? I didn't cheat. <clears throat> but, um... Yeah, I don't know. This was really like a weird fast build. I just wanted to build something quick so we could just play and mess around. I uh, didn't want to load up anything else, old saves and stuff. But um, one thing that I remembered about The Sims 4 that I really hated about it and why we didn't really play it. Um, there's so much things that was in The Sims 3 that we just couldn't do in The Sims 4. Um, with the customization and stuff. Mostly with the characters. But um, house building is more or less the same. Um, they've added stuff since launch, too, so if you haven't played it since launch, they added a bunch of, uh, like, free updates and stuff. So I can't remember, I don't think you were able to have pools when this first launched, but you can obviously have pools, so uh, we made one in the backyard. Uh, our bedroom actually looks a little dark, um, so we got to throw some lights in here. I didn't actually record the actual build, because anyone who's built anything in houses that actually care um, knows, like, it takes, like, it could take you, like, four to twelve hours to build your house assuming you have all the funds to uh, do it or if you just cheat which is going to be interesting because you can cheat however you want on the, P uh, the PC and you can use the cheats like I've seen um, The Sims 4 running on PS4 and, and the Xbox One and it it is The Sims 4 everything that's in the PC version is in the console versions, which I guess that's why it took them four years to make it. It's not like a watered-down version like it has been in previous versions. I never played console Sims before, but from what I understand, the console versions were kind of like a knockoff of the PC. Like there was, it was like a completely different game. Um, you know, like the basic basic concept. But the Sims 4 for the Xbox and the PS4 are pretty much the same. Simpatico. I can't think of a word. But they're, this is, this, they're this pretty much the same. So you can use cheats. But if you use cheats on the consoles, you're not going to get um, trophies or achievements, which is like, what's the point? So you got to play legit. So you can't make your uh, your big mansion house. Not that this is even like a mansion. This is just a big open house. With a private gym on the second floor. Um, and something that I, I realized, because I just I picked up this copy, um, but I've been playing this before on a friend of mine's. And like they, she has like all the packs and stuff and I didn't I didn't realize that a personal butler is something you had to pay for I thought it was just something that was in the game I could have swore that was something you just had in The Sims 3 so if you notice on the first floor we had that little corner room I made that for the butler thinking oh we can just hire a butler and that can be his maid the uh, private butler's quarter but uh unless I'm missing something in The Sims 4 you have to pay for the butler it's, oh, come on I'm pretty sure that was a free butlers were free and uh in Sims 3. And by free, I mean, you know, yeah, you have to hire them in-game, but I think it's like $10 real money or something to buy, like, a, a pack that allows you to have the butler. Which is weird. Alright, so we're starting the day off in the gym. I didn't do character creations or anything like that. Um, cause can you guys know what that looks like? But, uh, and we have the UI, so it's gonna be the, the HUD turned off. So it's kind of like a uh, like a Big Brother stuff. Cause this isn't like a playthrough or anything. I just I just want to talk about The Sims uh, since it's coming out in a couple weeks and how much it's like a waste of time. <laughs> it's such a waste of time focusing um, you know focusing on these guys' lives instead of focusing on your own life. <laughs> Gotta make sure they work out instead of me actually working out, playing. Hours of The Sims instead of spending hours uh, working out. Um, so I don't know. We'll set them up from some stuff. This house, though, it's it's a little too open and free. I, I you know, there's something that you could just like um, like upgrade and expand as you're doing it. 
So I kind of left the floor plan pretty open to figure out what our needs were. If we had kids or whatever, we can uh, mix around, add some bedrooms. I don't know. I don't really like the layout of this house, but I did it pretty quick. And I don't like that. It's like the, out, the whole outline of the perimeter of the house is like square, but I kind of made up for it with the inside. There's a little uh, weird uh, shaped rooms here. With our like library and our movie theater. First time I'm actually like hearing this music because usually when I play it's kind of low, but now I can actually kind of hear it because I'm not doing anything else. Because we usually listen to like podcasts or you have like Netflix on the second monitor or something when you play Sims. I don't know. I don't know if you actually play Sims. Like with just focus on the Sims. I always have something on the screen doing something. Oh, we cut our hands. Ah, not a good chef yet. We haven't been to culinary art school yet. Cut our fingers. <laughs> We did, we used like a pre-made skin, so I kind of, or a pre-made uh, character that I kind of edited. So I didn't feel like wasting my time, because uh, this wasn't like a permanent thing or anything, just something to make a quick video. So <laughs> I think uh, we actually used like an Asian uh, uh, character for our guy, even though I'm not Asian. But it kind of works. Slap a beard on, some tattoos, it all works out. And Alexis has like this big, huge, ridiculous nose, which, um, you know what? That's something I got to do. I got to show you, um, because I mess around with The Sims 4 and The Sims 3 to kind of understand like if there's any differences and stuff, because I couldn't really, really remember, but there was so many differences, so many differences. Oh my God. Like if The Sims 3 looked better, I would I'd play The Sims 3 over The Sims 4. But, um, you know what? I'll cut right now to like a little video of Alexis in the sims 3 and look how better she looks in the sims 3 compared to the sims 4 now keep in mind these are both the base games there's no mods there's no aftermarket downloads in here um so i'll, I'll edit i'll uh, put that in the video right here all right so you can see here sims 3 alexis so much better because you could use you could customize the colors and the fabrics and materials of anything you wanted from anything you wanted so if you wanted to have a concrete t-shirt you could and you know all that kind of stuff but with the hair you could change all the different color layers so we could get this nice blue and uh pink into her uh, like platinum blonde so it looks a lot better um it just looks overall just so much better than uh this person sitting next to me on my left but um <clears throat> whatever but there's, there's a lot of things different about Sims 3 and Sims 4, but it's neither here nor there, I guess, really. Um, but yeah, Sims 4, I mean, Sims 3 is actually, um, I think, still on sale on Steam for, like, $5 for the Halloween sale. I can't, I think the Halloween sale is going on through tonight or maybe tomorrow morning, November 1st. Um, so you pick that up for, like, 5 bucks or one of the bundles, I think, for, like, 10 or whatever. All the DLC is, like, half off. And um, if you get the Steam version, you get The Sims 3 on Steam and through Origin. So, don't worry about that. Sims 4 is still like 40 bucks or whatever oh. on the PC, though, through Origin. Buna, so. And hey. I think it's... <laughs> I think... I think it's $39.99 for PS4 and Xbox One, and then $49.99 for the deluxe version. I want to say that's right. Unless it's 49 for the regular version and 60 for the deluxe. Either way, uh, the deluxe version has nothing you need unless you like animal hats. It's stupid. Don't waste 10 bucks on that. Um, but the pre-order pre, pre, um, pre bonus, you might as well get the perfect patio, get a uh -huh. hot tub and stuff. Um, but... Cementina? Skuma! <laughs> Droba! I don't know. I think playing a Sims 4 on the PC definitely reminded me that I don't need the Sims 4. On the X, uh, uh, on the PS4, because I saw it coming out, I was like, oh, you know what? That's kind of cool. Play the Sims on the TV, relax and stuff. But then, but it's been like four years since I played any Sims games, so I kind of forgot. And I was playing this, and I'm like, no. Like maybe it's just because I'm like four years older. I can just. It's like this real. Like I know video games already are a waste of time. Like really, if you think about it, video games are a waste of time unless you're making money from it which i make a very tiny tiny minuscule amount of money 
from playing video games. Oh, Vadish. But um, unless you're really making money from video Vapitation games, it's not waste of time. <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. So, like, for The Sims, and I'm not saying this to offend you because I spend, like, hundreds of hours playing video games a week. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I own my free time, pretty much. But anyway, playing The Sims is like, why am I controlling this person to go on a date when I could just call a girl and go out on a date? Why am I practicing the guitar in The Sims when I could just pick up a guitar and play the guitar? And stuff? Oh, I practice the piano when I can just grab my keyboard and start messing around with the keyboard. You know, it's stuff, it's just, it's, it's weird. Like, I can understand, like, um, Farming Simulator. That's, like, insanely popular in, uh, like, Europe. And even in the United States in some places. But that makes sense, because... Farming equipment, especially if you don't own a farm or whatever, farming equipment is insanely expensive. Thousands and thousands of dollars for farming equipment. And, you know, if you want to actually buy farmland, you know, you can get tens of thousands and whatever. So it makes sense to have a farming simulator because that's something you're probably never going to do. But in The Sims, you, 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 you're already alive. You can go to the park with a girl or a guy or whatever and go I mean unless you can't but then there's things like you know what well, okay Cupid and match and uh, Tinder grinder whatever the other I can't even think uh huh the other ones okay Cupid and match eHarmony eHarmony the other one you can just find somebody it's not hard go to the Sims forum maybe there's a Sims forum find someone who plays the Sims go for it I have no idea. People have uh, gotten married through World of Warcraft. Well, I mean, do people still do that? To get, uh, find their soulmates through World of Warcraft nowadays? I doubt it. But anyway, we're gonna go woohoo and watch uh, ourselves woohoo. Like a uh, knockoff Barry White music. <clears throat> but yeah, so playing The Sims 4 on the PC saved me. 40 or 50 bucks or whatever getting the PS4 version because I was kind of excited when I heard Sims 4 was coming out to the PS4 or was it like a Gamescom when did it, when did it get announced? A couple weeks ago it got announced and um, it's coming out in a couple weeks I was like oh yeah 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 but it's, now it's like no especially when it's the same thing plus the, PS, the PC version even though the PC and the PS4 are like the exact same games unlike the previous uh like Sims 3 and Sims 2, I think, came to like the PS2 and PS3, I think, or something. But they were com kind of like really different games. Like it was the same kind of thing, same concept, but there's a lot of different things in it. But Sims 4 is exactly the same thing. Um, even till you can use mother load cheat and all the testing enabled cheats. You can do all the cheats. Of course, if you use cheats, you uh, can't get trophies or achievements on your uh, console. But everything's the same. Hit the touchpad to use a little uh, cursor. I mean, you touch, you Ooh. click in the touch pad and that activates like the little mouse cursor. And then you touch the pad again and that activates the controllers and stuff. And it's it seems like it could be pretty easy to control with a, a PS4 controller or an Xbox controller. I, probably, no, I don't think it's any real difference because I don't think you actually use the touch pad for anything. So you just hit like the little uh, like select button or whatever on the Xbox, the one with like the little dots. I can't even remember what they call it on the Xbox anymore. It used to be the back button, but it's not the back button anymore. I can't remember what they call it. It's the one with the lines, right? The lines is the one on the left, uh -huh. I think. Anyway. <laughs> so here in The Sims 3, you could like lay down and relax in the bed and like cuddle and make out and do all that stuff. You can't lay down on the bed in uh, Sims 4 for whatever reason. Lay down on top of the sheets and relax, or, like read a book or whatever. You can't do that. I was going to watch, have a, like just watch TV, but you can't do that in Sims 4. Um, so I, I haven't really looked into this, but I don't know if You're any not. custom content will be available for uh, The Sims 4. Hmm. You know, kind of like like Bethesda has done on uh, the PS4 <gasps> and Xbox with um, Fallout and um, Skyrim Special Edition stuff. They had like the, the computer mods built in. Um, but I don't think The Sims 4 will do that because a lot of The Sims 4 mods aren't even through like The Sims launcher or whatever the community thing or whatever it's all 
like simsresource.com or whatever it is. I, I can't remember. Is it what is it, is it called? Sims Resource? I think that's what it is. You can download like user made custom stuff like custom hair and custom clothing and like actual custom stuff that you can't get in the game otherwise. Um, so I don't think any of that stuff's coming to the console, so you're gonna miss out on like a lot of downloadable stuff, like if you want a Pokemon in your house or something. Or like a custom hairstyle, because a lot of the hairstyles in this game are garbage, a lot of the clothing is garbage. But, you know, like The Sims 3 just had so, so much more stuff. And The Sims 4 has so many downloadable content packs. Like, EA, I know you want our money. But I'm not giving it to you. I'm not buying it. I haven't bought a single thing for The Sims 4. Let's sit here, relax, talk about stuff. Like the butler. I can't remember if I mentioned this already, but like the butler. You have to actually pay, I think it's like a $10, a $5 or $10 pack to buy a butler. For the Sims 4, where I'm pretty sure it was free. And, uh, Sims 3, unless it came with like one of the packs I got on the Sims 3, but I only, like I said, I got like a bundle from Steam. That was like late night, and uh, which late night I think it just added the city and vampires. I don't think it actually added uh, <clears throat> whatever. That's another thing too in The Sims uh, 3 that I don't know if I didn't really mess around with The Sims 4 to really see, but there's no uh, currency, which I guess you could just use real money. But in The Sims 3, they had like sim points or whatever, which I think you might actually have been able to get through playing the game or something. Because I know I've got points, I never put money into it. Maybe it was just for like registering the game or something. But you could uh -huh. buy like stuff from Maxis or EA or whatever with these uh, fake points that you could actually buy with Lourdes. real money Lourdes. if you wanted to. Lourdes. I guess in The Sims 4 you can just buy it with actual money. They just lost the sim points or whatever. So we're going into our butler's room even though we can't have a butler. We made this nice little butler corner room with the violin and stuff, but nope. <laughs> So we'll just nice. in bed and So yeah, now I gotta think, what's coming out? Oh yeah, Call of Duty's coming out. So I waste my money on uh, Call of Duty World War II and Citizens 4. Might have to give um, Assassin's Creed Origins a try. I mean, I kind of been on the bad side of Assassin's Creed pretty much since Revelations. Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood were awesome. <laughs> like, I played Assassin's Creed 1 and, and had a, an okay time with it. I know it was very repetitive. You did like the same five things 20 times, but I enjoyed it. But I, I, Assassin's Creed 1 would probably be really hard to go back to now. Can't remember. I think I played that. Is it on the 360 or PS3? Either way. They just got like worse and worse. But this time they um took like a two year or like a three year break. I, I forget how long they took. But Assassin's Creed Origins. It's kind of like a reboot, but not really. But it's like an Origins. So you find out the origins of the Assassins. It's in Egypt. From what I've seen, it looks pretty good. And what I heard about it, it's pretty good. It's, uh, it benefited them taking like an extra year to make it, so I might have to try that out. <clears throat> and seeing I was an origin, so hopefully we don't have to uh, origins, not EA origins, but origins, like an origin story. So it's not like we play the last game for the understand it, probably, hopefully, who knows. That's something too, I never finished that Assassin's Creed movie with, uh, I can't even remember the actor who was in it. But that live action movie that came out, what, last year or this year? I, I, I don't even know if I made it halfway through. I just could not watch it. It was so bad. I don't know. Huh, Alright, let's just get a daily workout. So stuff like this is like, I haven't even worked out today. I should be working out instead of having Sims work out. You know what I mean? It's like, Whoa. it's really a waste of time. You know, but at least when you're playing stuff like Gears of War 4, you're not, you know, you can't just go out and grab a lancer and shoot locust or, uh, what are they even called? They're not called locusts anymore. Are they called locusts? I can't even remember. 
the not what were they called? <laughs> the <original> game? <laughs> is it the swarm? Are they called the swarm in the new game? I forget. Because they're not technically. Kabuni. I can't remember. Then you got the robot guys. Fucking robot guys. Stupid thing. But yeah, you know. But like this, you can you can go work out. You can get a treadmill. You can you can do all this stuff. It's just. I don't know. It really hit me now. Maybe because like the last time, I can't remember if I said this uh, in this one or in another recording, but it was um. It's been like four years, and a lot has changed in my life in the past four years, I guess. Where this just really just, just seems unnecessary. Like, I remember even at the time, I don't even know what I did in The Sims. But still, like this is just... I can't do it. I can't see myself putting hours into it anymore. I don't know, I guess like maybe if you're a kid, you're not gonna have access to stuff like this, so maybe. I don't know, I don't know who the market is for the Sims. Maybe you just get like really bored after a while. I mean, it's, it's, it's repetitive, I'm just doing the same stuff over and over again. And it's doing stuff that you do in life, so it's like, I don't know. It's you know, like farming simulator. Thousands of dollars for equipment. For like a tractor or farm. Thousands. Hundreds of thousands, depending on how much you go for it. So I can understand farming simulator. But the Sims I just don't see it anymore. Not that I've ever played farming simulator. I've seen some people play farming simulator on YouTube. But I've never personally played it because I, 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 I mean, <laughs> if you don't count Stardew Valley as a farming simulator, because I played Stardew Valley hundreds, I like, I think a little over a hundred hours in Stardew Valley. I don't know what it was about that game. There's some punching bags. I've had a punching bag in probably like over a decade. So I still have like the hook for it, the little, uh, what is it? Fisheye hook? Is that what they call it? The little uh, circle hooks that you attach the thing to? But, um, yeah, I was gonna get a, um, a punching bag. I was, I was like watching a lot of UFC. I remember that. Was that like last year? When was I watching UFC? What was I watching? I was watching something and I was really getting like the, like the UFC stuff. I was like gonna get all like a punch bag. Start boxing. I was gonna take some class. Oh, that's right. That's when I was gonna go. When I was going to Thailand, I was gonna take some like uh, classes and stuff, and I was gonna get like a kickbox and stuff when I got back home. But I never did. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna get like a little er Everlast uh, bag from like Walmart. I think it was on sale when I saw. It. I was like, oh yeah, I grab it. But I never did. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I needed to get new weights too. Been using resistance bands, which uh, have been all right, <clears throat> but starting to uh, deteriorate. They are. Uh, I, think I, got, I think I got them on Amazon two, three years ago. It's three years ago, probably on Amazon. Uh, the, the Black Mountain set so of resistance bands, but they're just like I don't know what. They just like turn white and like I don't know if they're drying out or something. And I think one or two of them already snapped, but luckily the, the highest weight one is still uh, still intact, so I can still use that one. So that's kind of cool. Doing a little uh, bouncing beach ball. Yeah, it's like instead of painting, I'm like go paint, go draw. That's something too. I almost bought. Um, what was that name of that video game? Um, uh, with like a like that like a frog-looking character. Um, paspo paspoto paspoto pas paspoto something like that. I think it was like a French 
French name, Pespato, I think that's what it's called, or something like that. Something similar to that. Where you're like this like little frog looking character in like a garage and you're using like MS paint to uh like create art and sell it and stuff. It actually looked like a pretty neat little game, but I think it's only like three or four hours and I think it's like twenty bucks on Steam, maybe it's ten. Now if it was ten I might have gotten it, but I think it might be twenty, maybe that's why I didn't get it. I don't know. This sounds like a real song too. What is this? That's that song that Alexis is listening to. It sounds so familiar. I mean, of course, we're listening to the song here. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, I think that's the song. I can't think I can't think of anything else though. Hmm. Oh well. Dun it dun it dun dun it dun it. The North Nurks Is it okay here we go? What? No, that's not it. Hey, is that the one with there on the treadmill? Yeah, maybe it is. Levitate Felka. <laughs> Can't wait to be done. We'll be done with this in like 12 minutes and I gotta get ready for tonight because it's Halloween. It's almost, almost 6 o'clock. It's almost 6 o'clock. It's gonna be 6 o'clock in an hour. The sun's gonna go down. I can't remember because I lost, I lost a chunk of uh, audio recording because I wasn't paying attention. I can't remember if I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but um, we got like uh, some Halloween candy a few, like two weeks ago maybe. But it's like the thing is like trick or treating. Like I don't know. I haven't actually gone trick or treating probably in. I think the last time I went trick-or-treating was with Caitlyn and Alyssa, I think, was there. I forget who, but that was maybe... Let's see, how old were we? I can't remember who else was there. I think Zach was there. Um, it's probably... Maybe 10 years ago? I think so. Maybe it was like 10 years ago. Has it really been 10 years since I went trick-or-treating? I guess. Fuck, I'm old. Ah! It's alright. I'm gonna say maybe in 3-5 years. Maybe I'll have a little kid. Oh, but then I gotta wait for him to grow up to go trick-or-treating. No, that's not true. Maybe maybe when he's like 4 or 5 he can go trick-or-treating. Ah, still. It's like 10 years. Ah, now it's gonna be like 10 years. Ah, no! Maybe I'll go trick-or-treating tonight. I don't know, how old is too old to go trick-or-treating? You can't go to trick-or-treating at 30. Unless you have a kid. I don't know. Fuck it. I don't even have a costume. <laughs> Throw on some like old paintball gear or something. See if that fits. I did that once. Of course, this was back before like guns weren't like a crazy thing. I mean, of course, guns were always a crazy thing. But you can't just like walk around with like, guns anymore. I don't think. I don't know. You get shot. I remember, I think, I think I actually went one year as like a soldier and stuff. I had like my, uh, my M4, like airsoft gun. That's something too. I really need to sell all my airsoft guns and I got to get rid of my paintball gun too. It's like stuff. It's like, like some of these guns I have look like real guns. And the thing is I have real guns in my house too. But it's like, I have, you know, I have the real guns hidden, of course, but I have all these toy airsoft guns, and some of them, like the BB gun, there's no orange tip. It's just a heavy metal BB gun that I bought in the United States, too. I think I bought it like Dick's Sporting Goods. There's no orange tip at all. It's just out there on the bookshelf next to the M4. <laughs> and I got another BB gun. And then on the next shelf below, I have my paintball gun. It's stuff that I haven't touched. 
It's just like stuff that's there that I gotta get rid of. I don't know. Just talking. I mean, there's not much to talk about when you Sims. It's just, you know, this is like an episode of Big Brother. You're just uh, watching them live their lives, and I'm just gonna talk about random stuff. Talk about random stuff. Doo 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 ba ba. <clears throat> yeah, that's another thing too that um, in The Sims Three, you could set like um, like their favorite foods and color and music. And I think Nothing. like if you <laughs> ate that stuff or were in a blue room or something, or if you like listened to the music or ate their their food they liked or whatever, you would get. Um, I think that would increase their happiness or whatever. But that's something that they don't have in uh, The Sims unless they add that in a pack or something. But there's no like uh, favorite stuff. But the biggest thing that I've seen even other people complain about is um, the color stuff. That there's like no color, there's like no color palette for anything you want to customize. Which The Sims 3, you could literally have a zebra print on anything you wanted. You know, just for an example. Or you could have like concrete colors or grass or whatever the hell you wanted. There was so many. There was like misc, materials, fabrics, cloth. Like there was all these different categories, and then of course you had, an, you had like a color swatch, you had a radial wheel color so you could change the color, and then you had a numeric like coding stuff like that I did when I used to program um, the numbers. So you you know if you like did zero 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 zero, I think that's white or black, I forget. Jeez, I haven't coded. I haven't coded in twelve years, but so many different color options and then in this game you don't have anything so you really need custom content if you really want to play this game but so that's going to be one thing if you get this in the, the consoles it's going to be not having custom content not being able to download you know someone's crazy hair or some like real life t-shirt or whatever or downloading your own like custom images and stuff You're just gonna be sitting here in the kitchen, standing up, while I do the dishes, and uh, you finish your meal, and that's basically it. <clears throat> oh man, this does kind of remind me of Big Brother, especially because we have the HUD off. I mean, I had the HUD HUD turned off for the recording. Obviously, while I was playing, I had the HUD turned on because otherwise you can't play this game without the HUD. This kind of reminds me of Big Brother, but I haven't watched Big Brother in a real long time. Um, but I did meet um, Jeff from I don't know what season, but I met him at a gym in Chicago in probably 2011 or 2012. And um, this gym, random gym in Chicago, like I wouldn't, I don't know, I guess, you I know, mean, it wasn't like a particularly nice gym, not that he was rich or anything, but it's like a regular gym. Of course, like my girlfriend at the time. Like, wanted a picture of him, but didn't want to go up to him and ask for a picture, so she, like, took, like, his photo. I can't remember if she took it or I took it. But while we were working out, we were, like, trying to take, she took out her phone and, like, tried to, like, took a picture of him. <laughs> I can't remember what season was he, he was from, but if it was 2011 2012, it was probably one of the past, like, three seasons, maybe, he was on. It was, like, Jeff, yeah, from Chicago, obviously. He had like a goatee or like a soul patch kind of thing or something. And he was, I think his girl, he had like this girlfriend that was blonde or whatever. I can't remember her name. But I remember at the time she was pretty cute. Um, yeah, but I haven't watched Big Brother probably since then. So that's been like five years or more. Actually a lot more than that because I didn't watch it when I was in Chicago. It was after, before, I mean. Uh -huh. um, but I... Ha I think it was either, I think it was last year, unless it was really super early, no, it was last year, I watched um, Big Brother Australia, and Big Brother Australia is so much better because, like, the viewers actually decide who stay in the house and who don't, so the viewers vote, like, the house, like, put the nominations up, but then the viewers vote the nominations out, so there's not, like, just bullshit on, like, the U.S. I don't know if it's still like that in the U.S. But the U.S. was like I remember it was like so much, so stupid, but the Australian version was like is really good. I'd recommend checking that out if you can. 
Oh, if you're in Australia. Was it on, was it on Sky 9? Channel 9? What was it? Oh, I can't remember the channel on Australia. I think it was, um... Sky 9. Austra was it, is it Channel 9? Sky TV? What is it called? No. One of the girl... The season that I watched was like, um... Maybe it was a couple years ago. It was, uh, Sky... I'm not, maybe that was 2011. 2014? Sky was on it. On Big Brother. Then it had, uh, what was his name? M A double S I V Massive. What was his name? I can't remember. And then that other girl, Aisha. She's actually, she actually became a model after that. I can't remember who else was on that stuff. That was pretty good. Should probably look at look at that up, look uh, look that stuff up. See if there's like a new season of uh, Big Brother Australia. See, so yeah, I guess they did that stuff in the summer, right? I guess I remember the U.S. one was always in the summer. It would always be like a summer long event. Wash your hands, brushing your teeth. I don't know, the thing that I always liked in The Sims was just creating your character and uh, creating the house. I never really, really liked playing, I guess, too much. <clears throat> Alexis is, like, super tired looking. <laughs> but, like, even this, I'm not even happy with this house. It was just, because uh, I, I just couldn't remember where everything was. Like, after I built the house, like, after I was done recording, like, I noticed, like, oh, wow, there's a clutter option, so now I can fill the house with clutter and stuff like misc items that I could fill the house because the house looks kind of like empty and unlived and really but with the clutter stuff you know you put magazines in the wall toilet paper and all this other stuff mag you know like all this little stuff that was not there which is something you could really go to town with custom content down like, like all these different packs and all these different paintings and cutting boards and all that other crazy stuff that I never did but you can see and really make the house look a lot better I don't know Maybe I should pull on George Costanza and be an architect. I mean, I do like drawing and I do like building houses, but... Who knows? Midlife uh, career change. I'm an architect. I was never too great at math. I mean, I was alright at math. But, um, I mean, math, honestly, is the easiest simple maybe not simple but it's the easiest s subject in school when you're learning like when you're there no but like once you're out of it it's like oh my god it's so fucking easy because it's the same stuff it's a pattern math hasn't changed in like hundreds of years and math is the same all you do is just change the numbers the formulas are still the same Whereas, like, history and English stuff changes all the time. you got to learn the past and this and that, that. But math, it's the same formula every single time. It's the same exact formula. All you're doing is changing that 2, and that's going to be a 3 now. Or it's the same formula, but now that's going to be a 1, and that's going to be a 4. It's the same formula. It's the same stuff. You know, you're just mixing and changing numbers. It's the same stuff. It's really easy when you think about it. But obviously, it's still fucking hard. But anyway, that's been The Sims 4. Um, I don't even know what we did. We just hung out at the house. So you hung out with me while I hung out at my house, while I watched my Sims hang out at their house. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hit one of these other four playlists there, and that'll take you to another video playlist of me playing video games. Hopefully more entertaining than this. And uh, in high-definition quality. I know this one's kind of low. But uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I can't believe you watched all of this and you're still listening.